tu as tué mon bébé. Hello, hi, what's up internet? My name's Alexis, welcome back to another video. Bring Me The Horizon just dropped their sixth album titled Ammo and oh boy, we're gonna talk about their album today. It's a 13 track record and every track has a little something in it that just really leaves you going, whoa, okay. 13 tracks, we're gonna go right through them. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about each track. We're gonna start this off with track one. I apologize if you feel something. Hello, please apologize because I felt something. <laughs> that track made me so unnecessarily emotional. Like what? I hit play, I sat there and suddenly I was no longer in my room. I was on a spaceship traveling to a galaxy far, far away. I paid no attention to the title on this track and I just played the music and I just listened to it. And then I just felt my soul come alive. Is that too dramatic? I think that's too dramatic. It's such an elemental song. You know, the synths and like all these different aspects and really nice to listen to. And then you got like the voice modification. And it's just like, ooh, eargasm. It's just a great opening track. Very different right off the bat. Just kind of packs a punch, gets you ready for this album. Right after that track, you feel this wave of energy. And the following track is track number two, Mantra. Ooh, a bop, great stuff. Great stuff. This was the first single that they released promoting this album. Uh, they released it last year and I immediately loved the song. A lot of people liked this song as well. It's a good mixture of their old with the kind of new feel of their stuff and I think that's a great track on its own. Moving on to track number three, which they released right before the album. Track number three, Nihilist Blues. Honestly, not my favorite off the album. It's a bop, I can't deny that. Like, it's a literal bop. You just want to kind of do this when you're listening to it. It's a little housey, a little techno in it. Every time I hear that track, all I can think about is the group of goth people underneath the bridge and they're like, That's literally all I think about. Please don't follow. Moving on, track number four, In the Dark. I love this one. I absolutely love track number four. It's, it's all around just a great song. It's something that I can find myself listening to on a day-to-day -day basis. A greatly put together song. From the lyrics to just the beats and the melodies, like, ooh, it's just, it's just good. It's a great song. <laughs> lyrics. I just, I love the lyrics. When I heard the song for the first time, the line that stood out to me was, No secrets, you can't keep me. Forget about the things you think I know. No secrets, you can't keep me. See now that? That's a great line right there. Moving on to track number five, Wonderful Life was another pre-release single. It's it, it's a good one. It's another one that I like. Compared to the rest of the stuff on the album, that one is a bit more heavy, mainly because of the feature, I assume, that has a lot of influence onto it. Great track. I love it just the same as the others. Moving forward, track number six, Ouch. Oh boy, did that one hurt, because it's a banger. <laughs> did you see what I did there? Okay, sorry. It's a short song, but it just, gets you there, man, like, woo! It's like that perfect transitional piece to get to the next track. And boy, boy, when those drums come crashing in, oh my God, I lost my mind. I was sitting there with my speakers on full blast and I'm just like. <laughs> I loved it, it was great. I love the drums in that part so much. They come in, they just pack a punch and they're there and it's like, ooh, ooh. Good stuff. And I think I love it so much because it's so similar to Josh Dunn's drum solo in Lane Boy. Listen to Josh's drum solo. Now listen to the drums in Ouch. Very similar. I am a sucker for a good drum entrance. That's that's just me. <laughs> and then we have track seven, Medicine, which they also released as a single. It's honestly just one of my top songs off the album. I just love everything about it. It's a good mixture of the new sound that they're going for and I really appreciate it. It's really easy on the ears, like 
anyone can listen to that song and be a fan of their music because of that song. Moving on to track number eight, Sugar, Honey, Ice, and Tea, which if you notice, spells out. That's my, that's genius. Hello, play on words. I love that. I don't think I understood the title until the chorus came in where it says we're so full of sugar, honey, ice, and tea. Like, oh, I get it. I get it. Everyone is full of sugar, honey, ice, and tea. Oh. <laughs> 10 out of 10. And then track nine, why you gotta kick me when I'm down. This one surprisingly, like, got me. Another track that I am completely obsessed with. This song is such an in-your-face, like, I'm telling you kind of song. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give it a 9.8. Moving on to track number 10, Fresh Bruises. Oof. Straightforward. Very different. But I love it. Something just makes me love it so much. I think it's because it gives me that same feeling that the opening track had, where suddenly you're just teleported into space at 58 seconds. My mind just goes. And then track 11 comes around, which is Mother Tongue. Another like absolute favorite from this album. It's straight up oh, a love song. And it's a beautiful love song. 2019 is really that year. The song is just so well put together. Such a great song. And then we go into track number 12, Heavy Metal. Boom. Ooh, right off the bat, I knew it wasn't gonna be heavy metal just because of the title. So then I hit play and I was like, Boy, so that, that song took me on a ride. As the lyrics say, this ain't heavy metal, but that's all right. And then don't even get me talking about the beatbox. <sighs> what a crazy element to add to this song, but it worked so well. And as I was listening to the lyrics, I got that this song is directly stated at the fans who have been hating on the band for them changing up their sound and i think that's bold and i think that's pretty freaking dope so we have the high energy in your face amazing mixture of like waves and synths and all this stuff from track number 12 and then we drop into track number 13 i don't know what to say it's truly a powerful piece and it's honestly the best song to close out the album with 325 when like it just stops and then the guitar comes in and you have this amazing guitar solo. It's orchestra plus the heavy flow and great mixture of elements. It has really worked for the better. This song was made for a really close friend of Oliver's who sadly passed away in April of 2017. So he kind of wrote this song as an open letter on how do you talk to someone when you know that they're gonna die? How can you tell them that it's gonna be okay when you know it's, it's not gonna be okay? It's just such a moving piece. It's so powerful. And it's just, it's truly the best way to close out the album. It kind of wraps everything all together and just holds it there and then just stops. The same energy that that opening track brings you into the album, this closing track takes you to that same level of energy and then just kind of lets you go freely and back into the world. And you're like, wow, that my friends is an album. Overall, Bring Me The Horizon's new album, Ammo, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving it a 10. It's very different, it's very separated from what they've done, and that's the point they wanted to obviously take this huge step and do something different. That's exactly what they did. And personally, I think it worked out for the best, and I hope a lot more bands do this and they experiment with their sound. All in all, the title, Ammo, just means love. It's really present in the entirety of the album. It's just a lot of love, good love, bad love, it's just love and emotions, and that's what makes this album so great. It's driven by emotion, and it's just 10 out of 10. That's all I gotta say. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, leave a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hey, hit the subscribe button. I have set a goal for myself to try to hit 2.1K for my 21st birthday, which is at the end of March. So uh, we got about a little bit over two months to go ahead and do that. So if you guys want to help me out and you guys like what I do, subscribe, be a part of the squad. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one, but for now, peace. Woo. This should be played at high volume.